Hola, my lovelies. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. I wanted to uh, do a pick card reading, but I wanted to make it more organic and do the live shuffles and the pull of the cards um, in completion. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, do the readings as you choose. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can choose from my right to uh to my left uh this is going to be set number one which is the angel set number two the infinity set number three the house set number four the star and set number five the flower so i'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes see which one you're being more pulled towards and um we will proceed with the readings now this is a pick a card reading and the overall message or theme here is what they want to tell you. Um, this could be in every single aspect of your life. It could not necessarily have to be with love or romance. It could be um, someone of your interest, a person, a colleague, um, you know, a relative perhaps that you're not having any communication with. It's basically an overall of what they would want to tell you, but they're not able to tell you or they're not able to open up. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can choose and we'll move from there. Okay. So like I said, set number one, the angel. Set number two, infinity. Uh, set number three, the house. Set number four, the star. And finally, set number five, the flower. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes. Okay, my lovelies, let's get into the reading. So we're going to start with set number one, which is the angel. We're going to pull these back here. All right, let's get into the reading. So this is going to be for set number one, Spirit Guides. Those that chose set number one. What is it that their person is wanting to communicate or what they are wishing they can say? Give me clarity. What are the messages? What are the messages that they're wanting to communicate? Uh, this can even be for those of you guys that currently have no communication with this specific person. Let's see. What they're wanting to say. Okay. What is it that they're wanting to communicate? All right, set number one. Let's begin. Okay, so those of you guys that chose set number one, perhaps there was some type of departure, some type of ending uh, that could have recently occurred. All right, so your cards are the five of cups with the eight of swords, the chariot card, their cards, the four of cups, seven of cups, and three of wands. So for those of you guys that chose this set, perhaps some of you guys are currently dealing with some type of separation, some type of having or currently not having any type of communication. Uh, the Eight of Swords uh, speaks about feeling stuck, um, currently feeling like you can't move forward and there is a lot of anxiousness or there is a strong desire to want to know what the outcome is going to be or... Um, how you're going to progress in in this uh, scenario in this situation now the cards that influences them or that uh, represent them is the four of cups so for some of you guys it could have been that there was some type of um, almost like feeling of not being able to really connect on a deeper level with you 
um, if this is in regards to love and romance, the Seven of Cups does indicate uh, this is a person that perhaps has a lot of options or currently is experiencing like having to choose. Uh, it's almost a feeling of uncertainty or a feeling of a lot of anxiousness because there is another person that is currently uh, that they are currently emotionally invested in or that are currently um, has their attention. So what they're wanting to tell you here, if they were able to communicate with no judgment on your part, is that they really do have or care for you. Um, and it's really difficult for them at the present time because it's almost like they are either linked to someone from the past or linked to someone that they feel a very strong connection to and it's almost like it's very difficult for them to walk away from that. Um, so again, like I said, what they would want to communicate or convey to you if there was no judgment there would be that uh, if I'm pulling away or if I currently don't, um, I'm not making the irrational decision to either settle with you, like settle down with you or choose you is because I am currently confused with my emotions. I am uh, feeling a bit like timing is something that is not on my side at the present time. Uh, there is a desire to move forward or perhaps towards another person, but they're still being pulled towards you as well because I do see them almost like for some of for some of you guys, it could be that they feel you're too good for them, like them leading you on would only hurt you. Um, so again, I'm going to be pulling out uh, a couple of cards here. Whoops, a couple of cards here from the energy and the sacred destiny oracle cards. OK, spirits, please give me specific cards that would convey clearly and concisely the messages that they are wanting to communicate if there was no judgment involved. What is their message? What is their overall message? For those that chose set number one. Okay. We have love, protection. Oh, we have two cards. love protection and delight okay so like i mentioned i feel that the reason why they're not communicating or currently not coming around you could be because they do feel a connection with you they do feel that um for some of them they can even feel love towards you and i think that they're doing this out of like trying to protect you trying to keep you from ending up getting hurt or perhaps they fear letting you down and that's the reason why they're currently kind of running away from this connection um or they're trying to for some of you guys if this has not to do nothing to do with love as an example if it's something to do with like work uh for some of you guys it could represent that this person is like extremely harsh on you they don't go easy on you and the reason for that is because there is admiration here. There is a feeling of they greatly understand that you have a lot of um, there is a lot that you can achieve. It's almost like they have very high expectations of you. And that's the reason why they come down very harshly. But ultimately, it's to protect you. Um, perhaps they see some type of innocence, some type of uh very trusting in you and they're just trying to make you stronger they're trying to protect you and we also have the delight card here so again for those that are having to do with love the reason why they are pulling away or there's no communication or perhaps you feel like they're hot and cold has more to do with the fact that they're kind of trying to look out for you they're not trying to either lead you on or they're not trying to be deceitful towards you see we have the deceit card here and and i feel that they're doing this because they have some type of admiration or even love for you and they're trying to ultimately protect you even perhaps from protecting you from uh 
their character. Perhaps they know that uh, they may not necessarily be a person that, you know, ultimately, um, ultimately tries to, um, I guess, a person that follows through with their word. Um, and I think that there is almost a feeling of like, they probably know your story or they probably know that you've been lied to, that you've been mistreated in the past and they don't want to lead you down that path where you see them in that specific light because of everything you've gone through, because of, like I said, there's this admiration for perhaps, you know, everything you've gone through and there is a feeling of, I don't want to let this person down. Um, so in, in retrospect, what they're saying is that if they can communicate with you, they would let you know the reason why they're not coming strong or the reason why they're not consistent is because they're trying to help you see who they really are ultimately to not hurt you, to not let you down, down the road, uh, or to lead you, to lead you on, um, and it has to do with strategy. It has to do with the fact that they know exactly why they're not communicating. And the fact that perhaps for some of you guys, uh, there could even be like a feeling of you're hurting right now because of this lack of communication. So they understand that on a deeper level and they feel like they may have been doing you a favor by completely pulling away or not communicating. All right. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope it gives you guys some type of insight. Um, ultimately, when we are in situations like this, I feel that a lot of the times when a person, when there's a connection and there is a person that pulls away, there could be a multitude of reasons for that. But ultimately, sometimes when, even if it hurts, they may actually be, doing it or coming from a good place. And I think that's the case for you guys that chose set number one. All right. Okay, my lovelies, let's go to set number two with the infinity. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, what are the messages? What is it that their person wants to communicate or convey if there were no judgment? What is it that they would communicate? What is it that they would communicate to give me three cards representing those that chose set number two, three cards that represent the partner or person of interest, and why? What is it that they're trying to communicate? If there were no judgment, what would they communicate? All right, let's get to it. Okay, for those of you guys that chose set number two, the infinity, we have the four of swords, the magician, and the five of wands. Those that, uh, or the person that represents your interest or the person you're wanting to know what they want to communicate. They have the ace of pentacles, the emperor, and the high priest. Okay, so... For those of you guys that chose set number two, with the four of wands, there is some type of discord or some type of disconnect from the situation. For some of you guys, it could be that uh, your perception of this connection or of this person is more to do with what you want to see in them. Um, and for some of you guys, it could even come off as you have a tendency of being too controlling. You have a tendency of wanting to control certain situations. Uh, with the magician, I feel that it's coming up in the reverse. So for, for you guys, I think that there is a message here of there needs to be some type of grounding in regards to this connection or this relationship. 
um, wanting to rush things or wanting to move rather quickly um, when they clearly are not wanting to rush into it. So what their message to you is, is with the Ace of Pentacles, I'm taking my time. Um, I'm taking my time. I'm trying to nurture or I'm trying to get to know you on a deeper level. Um, you are very quick and very hasty, perhaps very strong with your words, um, perhaps even confrontational. And it leaves me feeling almost as if your person is feeling like, you know, if they can communicate with you, knowing there was no judgment there, they would tell you, if you were patient, you would truly allow me to show you in practical ways that I'm interested or that I am willing to be devoted to you. With the Emperor card, I'm wanting structure above anything next to the Ace of Pentacles. This person really is looking for commitment or is really looking for marriage or is really looking for a serious monogamous relationship. Um, if this has to do with other people other than romance, uh, partnerships or friendships, this person is willing to go um, that extra mile. They're really wanting to put effort in either creating a connect, a deeper connection with you. Um, now, what they're also trying to communicate here is that they're not looking for games. If they feel to you like they take their time, whether it's to communicate, whether they're, it, it's, you know, like texting as an example or something like that, um, it's because they are genuinely busy and you jumping to conclusions or being very quick and snarky with your remarks only makes them think that you are definitely perhaps not a person that is ideal for them because they already see manipulative tactics or immaturity perhaps. So this scares them. This scares them because they're looking for something stable. They're not looking for craziness. They're not looking for hot, passionate, intense type of connections. They're looking for someone that is going to be their inner peace. And if you can't give that to them, their head is telling them, don't waste your time. You know, don't invest your energy or your heart into this situation because this person can have toxic traits but their heart is being pulled towards you. So again, if this is something that you connect with, if this is something that you feel like they are definitely, um, you're definitely connecting with this, my advice to you is don't try to force this connection. I feel that this connection is already there. Um, and your inconsistency, whether it's with mood swings, as an example, um, or whether it's you're super communicative and then when they upset you, it's like you completely shut down or you want to continuously keep arguing. So what they're telling you ultimately here is that, yes, I am interested and I am really trying my hardest um, to get to know you in a way where you shouldn't feel so like if things are not going your way, um, then you start to panic. But at the same time, what they're trying to say here is I'm looking for something stable. I'm not looking for something intense. This could be a person that perhaps greatly has matured. Uh, perhaps they've been in previous toxic relationships and they know that Passionate, though it's a great thing to have in a connection, they'd rather have someone that is a little bit more passive when it comes to their temper um, because they're just at a point where they want nothing but structure and stability in their life, okay? All right, let's see what the general energies are. What are the specific and direct messages from Spirit in regards to this connection? Okay. 
we have focus, enlightenment, and happiness. Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> I think that this connection has already been built. I think that this person already acknowledges the fact that there is connection here. The fact that they may have feelings for you already. Um, and what they're telling you here is, again, it's important for you to focus on what it is that you want to happen in this connection and really stick through it. So what I mean by that is if you're really looking for this to be something long term, then you need to understand that being bratty, being spoiled or being used to having things your way is not necessarily a trait that is good when it comes to relationships. Why? Because we need to be patient. We need to agree to disagree. You can't go and release World War III on them if they're not agreeing with certain things or if they're not doing what you expect them to do at that point in time. With focus, you need to have a clear and concise idea of what love represents to you or what it means to you or connections, not necessarily love. And enlightenment is stepping into your own, growing and being more mature, understanding what is it that creates this inner struggle within you. Perhaps it's from past relationships. Perhaps it's been that you've been mistreated. So you're constantly in the state of mind where you feel like if things are not going the way you want them, there's almost a feeling like things are starting to fall apart and there's a panic that happens. And if that's the case, um, again, it's about maturity and happiness. Ultimately, um, should you be able to balance these energies? Should you be able to uh, truly understand um, that you are the only person that can create that happiness within you? Um, then the rest will follow, meaning you need to find your happy place you need to find your balance in order for everything else outside of you to find its balance, okay? Now we have here fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, the world card, and third chakra, Archangel Shemuel. So... Like I said, I think that there are specific chakra um, chakras of yours that are blocked. Uh, could be the fifth and the third chakra. But at the same time, what Spirit is telling you is that there is there needs to be healing here. And although uh, I'm not saying in any shape, way, or form that this person is perfect, what I am saying is that they know exactly what it is that they want and they will show you or they will prove that to you but there needs to be healing within yourself as well and the world card is here to symbolize not only with the archangels that there is a need to heal but there is a need for you to end specific traits or habits from your past for you to grow and evolve um, the world card is a symbol of a conclusion coming to an end and being able to start something new. So it's ending some type of karmic um, behavior, some type of toxic trait that you need to address now for it to create or help you create the happiness that you're wanting. All right. All right, my lovelies, let's go to set number three i know that these readings are going to be a bit longer than usual because i am live shuffling and a lot of the times that's the reason why i pre-shuffle because it just takes longer um but i just wanted you guys to see that we are doing um the readings organically okay so let's see what those of you guys that chose set number three, which is the house. Uh, let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to 
this connection spirit what are the messages what is it that they're wanting to convey or they're wanting to communicate should or if there weren't any judgment what is it that they want to communicate what is it that they want to communicate if there were no judgment involved okay give me three cards representing the viewer and three cards representing the person of their interest and their message what is it that they're wanting to communicate all right okay let's get into your messages all right your cards the two of pentacles the king of swords and the nine of cups their cards is the ten of wands the world or the wheel sorry and the six of swords okay so those of you guys that chose set number three there is uh there is a decision that needs to be made in regards to this connection um for some of you guys it could be feeling like there is not enough balance for some of you guys it could be that you're wanting to see more like in action um where you stand in this person's life uh with the king of swords i see you guys empowered i i feel that something happened recently where you were able to see things more on a like on a different perspective you were able to find your balance um because there was initially a struggle regards regarding the balance uh for some of you guys it could be that you just didn't know where you stood with this person and there was a decision um or a feeling of you're not going to hesitate uh, in regards to finding your happiness. So for some of you guys, it could have been that you were dealing with the situation for quite a while now. And perhaps you've gotten to the point of feeling like, you know what, if they are not clearly, if they are not clearly uh, making a choice or letting me know exactly where I stand or what I mean to them, then you're not going to hesitate to cut them out with the nine of cups you you're definitely like going towards your happiness and you don't care um what you have to do uh you'll do it in order to create or find that happiness within you um now with the ten of wands here there is a lot of stress for some of them uh, for some of you guys, I mean, the person of your interest or the person that you're wanting to know uh, what they're thinking, if they could communicate to you what they, uh, whatever it is that's on their mind. The Ten of Wands speaks about a lot of stress for a lot of them. They're dealing with a situation that is currently out of their control. Uh, so they do feel stress. They do feel uh, burden. They feel like I feel that it's outside responsibilities. Um, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is at the forefront of like the family dynamic. Um, it could be that they have children, uh, but there's definitely a feeling of having a lot of responsibilities and the timing. I feel that to them, the timing wasn't right. Um, so if they can communicate anything to you, it would be that they do have they they do have a clear feeling of what it is that they want and there is a feeling of them wanting to come back around or they will be coming back around communicating with you but i think timing was an issue uh when you guys were either dealing with each other or communicating with the wheel of the year the wheel is turning and they have more of a clear head. Uh, they're able to follow their feelings or listen to their emotions. So I definitely do see them coming back around and trying to communicate um, to you guys. And what they would tell you 
uh, at this present time is that although I may have seemed like I wasn't necessarily interested or perhaps like I had a lot of things going on in my life, the reason why I was distracted was because a lot of people um, depend on me. And it's not just about me or putting myself in what I want, because if that was the case, I would have made you a priority. Um, with the Six of Swords, I'm definitely going to listen more to my emotions and they will be communicating with you. Now, your next cards here is Truth, Voyage, and Miracles. So the overall theme here, I think, is very clear. They do have feelings for you and they do want to make you a priority um, at that point in time when you were dealing with them. Like I said, they had a lot of things going on, a lot of things, people depending on them. They had a lot of responsibilities, but now things are clearing up for them. Um, things are falling into place with the Six of Swords. They're definitely coming back around. And I feel that they're coming back around being completely honest and transparent with you. They will be telling you the truth or they will be opening up in regards to what they've been going through. Voyage, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is at a distance. Um, but I definitely, like I said, I do see them coming back around. Uh, for some of them, they will be traveling to see you. Uh, and miracles, keeping um, in your heart knowing that um, miracles happen on everyday basis and miracle can also be a representation of your heart's desire, uh, actually manifesting. Now your next card here is walking away, man holding a coin and oh, give me that. community. So again, like I said, I think that what they're, uh, what they're, what they're trying to clarify here for us is that perhaps this person walked away um, and the reason why they walked away was because people were depending on them or because they did have it's it's I see them more like um, being responsible of their family perhaps not necessarily like children it could be children but not necessarily um, it could be like taking care of their mother of their father that type of energy and with man holding a coin, I feel that they're coming back around and doing an offering or giving you an offering. Um, so again, I think that the reason why they walked away is something that they will be speaking about with the truth card here. And the offering comes um, once they decide to move towards you or uh, go back to where you're from or go visit you. Um, or communicate and, you know, ask you if you want to see them or if you would be open to seeing them. And I feel that that's when they express to you, which is something you've been hoping to hear from them uh, with community that they had perhaps uh, people around them or their loved ones that solely depend on them. And that's the reason why they had to walk away at that point in time. All right. All right, my lovelies, let's go to the next reading all right so we're gonna go to set number four which is those of you guys that chose the star okay spirit guides what are the messages for those that chose set number four what is what are the messages here for them Please give me three cards to represent them and three cards to represent the person of their interest and what is it that they would communicate if there was no judgment what would they say to them oh oh, oh okay all right so those of you guys that chose set number four we have the death card the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups that represent you. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Swords representing them. Okay, so those of you guys that chose set number four, um, I feel that for some of you guys, there was an ending to this relationship uh, with the Six of Wands. 
I think that you were extremely hurt. You were extremely hurt how things ended in this relationship. For some of you guys, it could have been that the person you were dealing with stepped out of the relationship. Um, or it could have been you the one that stepped out of the relationship. But I feel that there was a feeling like your pride, like your pride or your ego was bruised in this situation. Um, here's the thing though. What I'm seeing with the cards that represent you, those of you guys that chose set number four, I feel that your connection or your emotions towards this person were not as strong as they became once you ended either being, um, your feelings were not as strong initially as you feel them now based off of this ending or based off of some type of embarrassment that you currently went through. Um, it could have been, like I said, that they broke up with you or it could have been that you broke up with them, but there was, there was definitely some stepping out of this relationship. And I feel that it's almost like you've become obsessive about them and you're not coming, I like, you're not coming necessarily from a loving place, meaning when we break up with our loved one or the person of our interest or the person that we were dealing with, um, we go through that phase where we're looking at their social medias, where we're wanting to know exactly what they're doing, who they're with, etc. That's a normal process. But I think that your feelings got stronger because of rejection or because some type of feeling of not being enough or a feeling of like not being worthy um and what they're saying is that this is purely ego based so the desire for you to hear from them or the desire for you to know that how they're doing is not coming from a loving place it has more to do because you want them to either do bad um, or you want to feel some type of, some type of, what's the word I'm looking for? Like whatever it is that you went through in this connection, whatever it is that you put up with, it was worth it at, in the end at, in some shape, way or form. Um, now what they're wanting to communicate to you is that with the queen of pentacles i feel that they see you as a very strong woman or man uh very independent um but they were just over the relationship or they were at so there was some type of admiration on their part um towards you like they had some type of admiration for you um but they're not necessarily the type to want to settle down or to want something that is monogamous and long lasting with the nine of wands. It's like they were very quick to either end the relationship, walk away or step out of the relationship. It could be a person that is um, easily bored or a person that just doesn't like to stick through things. You know what I mean? Like stick out through a certain situation or difficulties the moment um, the moment the relationship becomes, um, the moment it becomes something that they have to deal with, that's when they're like, okay, I'm out. Uh, and here, what they're saying is the message, if they were able to communicate to you with no judgment on your part, it would be that, yes, I admire you. Um, I see you as a very strong individual. Um, but I'm over this connection or I am emotionally over this relationship, whatever it is that we had um, with the seven of swords. I just can't help um, being tempted or stepping out of the relationship. Now, your next card here is forgiveness. Flow. And patience. So what they're telling you here, what Spirit is saying here is if this person was the one that walked out of the relationship and they hurt you, 
or you felt embarrassed about how things ended or how you guys concluded the relationship uh, especially if you brought this person around your family uh, your parents your children um, and you were like you feel like they embarrassed you or they hurt you um, in such a way what spirit is telling you here is that it's very important for you to forgive them not forgive them for them but forgive them for your sake because when we carry anger or when we carry a feeling of wanting to see them like get to the point of ruin um, or getting to the point of seeing that their life is falling apart and it's the reason why you're wanting that ultimately it's because you want almost like a reaffirmation of you were the best thing in their life um forgiveness is something that is very important why because the more you carry on that hurt or the more you carry the need uh to want to feel like like you had the upper hand um whether it be them coming back to you crawling asking you for forgiveness uh just for ego purposes um carrying around that feeling is you're still giving up your power so they still have some type of power and control over you and once you forgive them or once you no longer carry that type of resentment or animosity in your heart then they no longer have control and it's like you're taking your power back you're becoming whole again and with the flow you need to trust in the universe you need to trust in spirit and have faith that they will bring to you the person that is ideal for you the person that is going to genuinely um care for you and even love you um but you have to let go of having to be in control of the situation or rushing into relationships they're telling you you need to be patient here not with this connection because I feel that what they're saying is with this connection it's been done it's been done and the only thing that is still keeping you emotionally connected or invested in this person is because you haven't forgiven them and you haven't forgiven yourself there is something here that speaks about a feeling of kind of blaming yourself like, I should have been smarter. I should have seen this. I should have this. I should have that. And what Spirit is telling you is you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive them and forgive yourself. This was a lesson that needed to be learned. Flow is allowing the universe to take its course. With patience, you need to learn to be patient. You need to learn that good things don't come easy. And that's a fact in every aspect of our lives. Um, but as well, patience could represent... Um, the need for you to do healing only then will you be able to not only move on from them but to genuinely heal and put yourself together in order to be able to find a deeper long-lasting relationship with some with being with someone in a healthy relationship now your next card here is the angel of balance community and angel of strength so what they're telling you here is that like i said having to hold on to that anger or that resentment or even that hurt is kind of you're kind of giving your power away and what spirit is telling you is that angels all are around you and they're helping you at this present time you need balance in your life and the only way to find that balance is, again, finding yourself whole again. And in order to do that, we need to go through a healing process. Community, spirit speaking directly to you about not being antisocial or not running, or wet, running away or hiding away in your room. You need to be around your loved ones, around people or friends that are going to lift your spirits, that are going to give you the strength that you need to continue pushing through, to continue having faith and love or to not become so, um, you know, so, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not being so cold or 
uh, kind of like looking down on love or people that speak about love um, because this just speaks about your hurt. And, you know, like I said, being around people, friends, your loved ones that are going to lift your spirits, that are going to um, help you find yourself again and moving forward, healing yourself and finding the strength within you once more. All right. Very strong messages for those that chose set number four. Now let's go on to set number five. If you guys enjoy these readings, definitely comment, like, and share my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. We will be uploading tons and tons of videos for you guys uh, in regards to spell work and readings as well. A lot of good things coming. I will also be announcing a lot of projects that we're currently working on. When the time is right. <laughs> All right. Let's see what spirit has for those of you guys that show set number five with the flower. Spirits, please give me three cards to represent the viewer. Please give me three cards to represent the person of their interest and what they would say or communicate if there were no judgment involved. What are the messages? What are the messages here? What do they communicate? Or say if there is no judgment involved. You guys let me know. Also comment below if you like um, for me to be doing the the live shuffle here or if you prefer for time purposes not to do the shuffles and just have everything ready to go i know it's more time consuming okay that's what i got please give me three cards to represent the viewer how they're viewing this connection or this relationship and please give me three cards to represent the person of their interest and what they would communicate or say if there were no judgment involved. All right, let's see. All righty. Let's get into this. All right. Your first card here is the Page of Pentacles, the Tower card, and the Shadow side. Wow. The Person's cards, Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Strength card. Okay. All right, for those of you guys that chose set number five, um, I feel that you guys have been waiting for some type of communication for quite a while now. For some of you guys, it could be a month. For others of you, it could be a little bit longer than that. Um, with the tower card, I feel that this person came into your life perhaps at some point in time where there was a lot of major transitions in your life, a lot of changes happening. Um, we also do have the shadow card here, which represents uh, Capricorn. Um, it also represents the devil card in the tarot. Um, I see a lot of pentacles here. So you guys may be dealing with an earth energy or you may be an earth energy yourselves. Um, so there was definitely, I think that for those of you guys that chose this set, there was a lot of toxic energy in this relationship. For some of you guys, you could have experienced like f physical abuse um, or mental abuse, a person that could be a, a bit narcissistic or has tendencies of narcissism. Um, and I feel that this um, lack of communication, it's almost the feeling like it completely transformed you or you're currently feeling like your whole world completely um, has changed. Or like they pulled the rug from you, from underneath you. Uh, with the shadow side here, the devil card, I see that a lot of you guys are wanting to control the situation or are wanting to undo the ending or uh, the conclusion of this relationship. Um, for some of you guys, this could even be you that has very like, you could be very temperamental. Um there could be this this could have been your energy as well it could have been you the one that um has 
there's something about how you deal with emotions, especially strong emotions. And for some of you guys, it could be that you had, you just have a tendency of being very self-destructive. Um, but someone in this connection is definitely extremely toxic. Um, perhaps there could have been some type of abuse. Like I said, it could have been, um, physical. It could have been, uh, mental abuse. Um, it could have been dealing with a person that, um, had some type of substance abuse, or it, this could have been you as well. Um, now the cards that represent them is the seven of pentacles, the five of cups and the strength card. So what spirit is saying here is that this connection was extremely toxic, but for most of you guys that chose this set, it could have been that you're the toxic one in this connection because with the seven of pentacles, I feel that they miss you. They greatly miss you. And they're really mourning this loss of relationship or they're like, still trying to get over you and I feel that it's been extremely difficult it's been a very long process for them it's almost like they literally feel like their life is falling apart um with the five of cups a lot of hurt a lot of emotional uh having to deal with emotional stride at the present time but they will come out stronger they will come out from this becoming more wiser. Um, this could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general rating. But someone definitely was very toxic in this connection. And I feel that the other person is definitely really going through it in the present time. And they're very tempted to coming back. But I think that the longer um, this separation or this ending or this lack of communication progresses, the stronger they become until it gets to the point of feeling like I deserve better or I treated them right and they just didn't appreciate me um, and I deserve better than that. So there is almost like a definite enlightenment at the end of this connection. Um, I don't see any type of reconciliation because I feel that this person is definitely... So if they could communicate with you with no judgment, they would tell you, yes, I do miss you. Yes, I think about you constantly. And I'm still trying to deal with the emotional turmoil within myself um, based on this lack of communication. But ultimately, I understand that we just cannot be with each other. It's almost like you guys bring out the worst in each other. And they're just wanting to to end that cycle uh for some of you guys it, this could be a relationship that has been on and off for a very long time it's like you guys break up and come back break up and come back but i feel that there's an ending to the cycle and they uh really either stepping up or deciding they deserve better or deciding that you deserve better uh, whoever's been mistreating the other Ultimately, I feel that they come to the understanding like, hey, you know what? He or she was extremely toxic for me and I deserve better than this. Or they understand on a deeper level like, hey, I'm the tornado. I'm the one that doesn't deserve them and they deserve to be happy. So with that being said, there is a pulling away. And I feel that if you have been in this connection where there's like, breaking up and coming back, breaking up and coming back. Um, that's definitely not going to be the case here. I definitely do see a conclusion and I don't see reconciliation. Let's see what the Oracle cards have spirits. What are the messages, direct messages in regards to this reading? Okay. So you have voyage, embracing, and wisdom. Yeah. So this is exactly what the tarot cards were saying. With voyage, I feel that you guys have been on this journey. On this journey, um, perhaps a very long journey for some of you guys uh, with an extremely 
like toxic connection like i said um it's almost as if for some of you guys it could be that you guys have a tendency of attracting very toxic people in your lives um embracing is just here to represent your current position and what they're saying is embrace this ending embrace this ending this cycle uh, you are coming or stepping into a new cycle in your life where toxic uh, toxic energies or toxic people is something that uh, you've outgrown and you're vibrating to a much higher level and it's okay uh, to accept that there is an ending accept that you deserve better um, embracing is all about not resisting the changes that are following or that are unfolding before us, but accepting them and saying whether, you know, this was a lesson, whether this was something, uh, a lesson for me or a lesson for them. Ultimately, um, it's come to its conclusion and embrace the fact that you're no longer dealing with that type of energy. Be grateful and thankful because it's brought you wisdom. It's taught you what you want. It's taught you what you don't want. And based on that, it's great wisdom, great understanding, and great learning. And moving forward, you're going to have a clear, concise uh, picture or idea of what you want, as well as a clear indication of what you don't want. So whenever you start to deal with other people, you're going to be able to accept or see the good or bad and what you're not willing to uh what you're not willing to sacrifice no longer now your next cards here is healer of the ages rest and juvenation and third chakra archangel shamuel or camuel um so what they're saying here is yeah this is definitely a life lesson that you or the other person had to go through uh, based on that, rest and juvenation is embracing what we're, the situation that we're currently in or the energies that are currently flowing around us. It's about accepting. It's about not resisting and letting go of having to be in control all the time. This is something that we as humans tend to struggle with in life. It's like when we want something, we want it now, right? We want it now. And if it's not now, it's never, you know, type of energy. And what Spirit is saying is that no, sometimes the universe doesn't give you the things you want at that point in time because sometimes we ourselves don't even know what we want. Um, has it ever happened to you guys where you, you know, think you want something so badly and a year from now, it's like your perce perception of it is completely different and you're like, Oh, geez, like, thank God is I or thank God that, you know, I didn't get it at that point in time because I would have really regret that. Um, so, again, rest and rejuvenation is all about surrendering, letting go of control and letting things unfold organically the way they're supposed to. Your third chakra can also be blocked. This could be something that you're currently struggling with. And if that's what you're currently going through, then my advice to you would be to really ground yourself. And meditation gives that to us. It, it creates a grounding energy for us to be more centered, uh, to have more clarity of mind, uh, to be able to make decisions from a clear mind, not from emotion. A lot of the times when we're quick to make decisions based on emotions, we tend to regret that shit real quick. Why? Because we they're temporary decisions. They're decisions that are based off of temporary feelings. Um, so again, I would highly encourage you guys to do some type of meditation, some type of cleansing to help you release any type of connections or any type of hurt that you're still dragging or still carrying from past relationships. I see a lot of you guys really going through a healing phase um, and when I say, you know, when spirit says healing energy, healing face, um, that you're currently going through, it usually indicates very heavy life lessons. And it usually speaks about karmic relationships and karmic relationships are by far one of the strongest connections. Why? Because they carry such history 
uh, that it almost feels like impossible to be able to move on from that type of energy. Um, but that's the reason why they're karmic. We have to work through that to be able to heal, to be able to release those lessons that we should have learned two, three lifetimes ago. Um, so I hope that makes sense for you guys. I hope that uh, these readings gives you guys some type of clarity and insight. If you guys enjoyed, definitely comment, like, and share these videos so I can keep making them for you. And we'll see each other soon. Blessings to all of you guys. Bye. Oh. <laughs>